Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for the yeah, company update at Commodity TV, and we want to talk about Sibanya Stillwater and a merger update. Sibanya Stillwater is at rank two now for the production of platinum and palladium in the world, and number three for gold. The company has 2.2 billion shares outstanding and is based in South Africa and in the US. Top shareholders are Goldman with 19%, the Public Investment Corp and Fun Egg Funds with each around 10% and Investec with 5% and the world's largest asset manager BlackRock with 3.9%. The market cap stands at 2.8 billion US dollars and the gold reserves at 28 million ounces plus a 4 EPGM reserve at 23 million ounces, 113 million pounds of uranium reserves and in the 2 EPGM the reserves stand at 21 million ounces. Those are outstanding values and numbers, of course, and positions the company very well for the upcoming years as the company pursues a three-year strategy to grow the business substantially. Having executed the acquisition of Aquarius, Rustenberg and Stillwater, now comes the logical fourth step in the PGM strategy to acquire Lonmin. The Lonmin acquisition has an attractive price at a low point in the platinum price cycle and the combination with the Sibanya Stillwater South African PGM assets could lift significant potential synergies. It completes Sibanya Stillwater's mine to market strategy in South Africa and secures the entire PGM value chain with sizable resources, providing a long-term optionality. The direct synergies of the Lonmin uh, acquisition are approximately 1.5 billion rand in savings up until 2021 and overhead costs of 730 million rand also by 2021 in addition. Also in addition come processing synergies from differential cost benefits of 780 million rand by 2021 and an average of approximately 550 million rand per annum from 2021 onwards. Approximately 1 billion rand of capex is required for the purchase of a new furnace. Lonmin has an interesting production and capex profile over the next years. First of all, there is significant capital investment required to maintain a flat production profile with a substantial capital hump. The decommissioning of the Generation 1 shafts, which are coming to the end of their lives, results in an, in an expected retrenchment of approximately 12,600 12, employees over the next three years. Sibanya Stillwater has also a revised operational plan. The revised mining plan was developed after a detailed due diligence and the plan is suitable for current economic and market conditions. In addition comes the so-called lower for longer plan, which is a conservative plan not contingent on expenditure of project capital, thereby ensuring affordability. The Generation 1 shafts need to be put on carrot maintenance as per the Lonmin plan, but with the flexibility to delay the mining project capital, there is an optionality to significantly extend the operating life in a higher PGM price environment. It is all about cost savings and intelligent operational excellence. In a rising precious metal and PGM price environment, Sibania should have executed the right strategy to be long-term profitable and pay dividends in the future too. Thanks for watching us. Bye-bye from Heersau.